Yes, ma'am. Like I said, the stars are showing us some love this morning. We're joined by 19-year-old David Ngobo, who, who you might know as, of course, Nasty C, one of the hottest rappers in the industry right now. World class. A man who says that his love for music was sparked by his brother at the age of nine. And then, yo, switch back to three weeks earlier from today. Something <laughs> yeah. absolutely amazing happened in his life. Dude, so good to have you on the show. Thank nice. you for Thanks. showing us some love. Thank you for having me. Tell us about what happened three weeks ago, man. You got one of the most important calls of your life. Yeah, man. I was I was in Durban for a gig. I was like alone in my hotel room. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I get a call. First, the first call was from Zimbabwe. Right? Okay. And and they tell me that it's Rock Nation Africa. Okay. That Rock Nation, the Rock Nation is also Jay Z's from, Rock Nation. <laughs> Jay Z's Rock Nation is also from my number. Jay Z's cousin, actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Biha is the one that called me. Um, and then when I got a call from New York, then he told me he told me that they're gonna call me in like 15 minutes. Did you believe it? So I didn't believe, like, it. I didn't believe it at first. I was like, okay, let me wait. Yeah. And I waited 15 minutes, and it, it was really him. Unbelievable, dude. Well, and, and coming from, from the streets of, of Durban, where you grew up and with your love of music over the years, what does this mean for your career right now? It means a lot, man, because I've only been in the industry for like a year. Yeah, yeah. Right? So for me to get a call that big, which not that many people get, you know, yeah. I've never heard of this ever, ever, ever in essay. So when I got that call, man, I got so excited. Yeah. I got too excited. What do you think is it about your music? Because, I mean, we've heard multiple tracks uh, and collaborations, and right now, Hell No is on high rotation all over South African radio. What do you think is it about your music that's making everyone love it so much? I don't know. I, I think it's the sound. Because I got a lot of fans from, like, overseas, like Australia. I got some in the UK and in the USA. So when, so when they DM me on, like, on, on Instagram or Twitter, yeah. and I reply to them, and they tell me why they like my music, they tell me it's, it's because... It sounds universal, like anyone anywhere in the world can listen to it and yeah. not feel like, yo, this isn't some guy from so and so. Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody's trying to get into it yeah, as well, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. AKA collaboration like, that's yeah, going to be yeah. happening. Tell Coming me more about soon. that. Yeah, I was at uh, PH's studio for DJ VG song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's me, AKA, and KO. It's, it's a nice song. Like Power it. house, dude. <laughs> and when, when you are in those conversations, right, you're chilling with KO and AKA, what, what do they have to say about your success? What's the feeling among the cats there? It's, it's always all love, man. I, I've never met anyone that, that tried to change the way I look, the way I sound. Obviously, at first, as, as OGs in the game, they tried to give me advice. They were like, yo, I think you should change up and sound a little more African. And I was like, Okay. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is, the, is that not the sound that you're going for? You're not trying to sound particularly African? Yeah, I, I understand that you must have some element, you know, to show where you're from because it's home at the end of the day. But I'm not trying to subscribe myself to just Africa. Yeah. You know, otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten the call. Absolutely, man. It's, it's got to be appealing to the world. But I, but I mean, I love the fact that you still acknowledge the fact that there needs to be an element of it that is very proudly yeah, African, know, yeah, man. Um, dude, I can't wait to hear your performance a bit later on. Uh, we're going to be getting our juice back. We're going to be getting oh, some love from Nasty C. In fact, listen, uh, hit us up on social media, Express Morning Show, S-A-B-C-3. It's going to be one of those feel-good breakfast shows. But right now, let's find out what else you can expect.